welcome back to another week in my life in New York. I've got my heatless curlers in. We are de-puffing with this icy thing I literally found on TikTok shop and drinking coffee. It's Monday morning and we've got a fun week ahead per usual. Um, today we're recording an episode of Gals in the Go podcast and it's our Halloween episode. And we decided it would be fun to dress up for the Halloween episode. However, I don't have my actual Halloween costume or any other things that I could wear for today. So I'm gonna take a little walk over to Spirit Halloween and we're gonna let Spirit Halloween tell me what I'm being for Halloween today on the podcast. Breakfast, we're gonna do two hard boiled eggs. I'm gonna do it in a bowl because they always roll around and almost fall off my plate. They've fallen off my plate before, so we're gonna try a bowl. Finally got more of the everything but the bagel seasoning. Yeah, the bowl life is great. I also just got all these new plates and bowls I love them. And then I make a piece of toast as well. Dave's killer bread is so good. I'm gonna have a slice of this as well. But guys, I'm getting really close to wanting to make my own sourdough. I feel like it's really time consuming, but the ingredients, it's just so fresh and you know what you're putting in your body. And I love bread and it would just be so great if I could have some fresh bread. Is that just a really lofty goal for me? Like the whole starter of it all stresses me out for sure, but cheers. It's clean the sheets day. So I just put my sheets in the washer dryer. Gotta start early, so otherwise you'll forget about it. And then it's like evening time and you wanna get into bed and your, your sheets are still in the dryer. So I need to do it now. I do have to say, I didn't wake up with my hair looking like this in the heatless curlers. I woke up and usually it's not that bad. It's like, you know, a little, little messed up. It was, I don't know, I must have been tossing and turning or what was going on. It was bad. So I like redid them this morning when I woke up, but I do need to go for that walk to Spirit Halloween now. So I'm, I'm not walking to Spirit like this. Let's see how these did for the last hour. They looked, it looked pretty good when I took it out, but since it definitely got messed up, I was like, Ooh, we gotta, we gotta, all hands on deck here. I never know the perfect way to like do this. I also am in desperate need of getting my extensions bumped up. Like they are so grown out and I'm going tomorrow. So all is well. It's like going to get your braces tightened. <laughs> TBT. Okay, the front pieces definitely needed more time, but you know what? This will do for going to Spirit Halloween. I need to add some curls in with an iron for the podcast. I definitely will, but these things are really just so magic. Like, look at that. No heat, I showered yesterday. I didn't go to bed with wet hair. I like definitely waited till my hair was just about dry. We love it. Just changed into this little set from Park. Well, it's not a set, but they're both pieces are from Park. This is my first hoodie, I think, from them. And I love it. This is definitely an airplane hoodie. Like this is, this is great. It's officially like a little chilly. It's actually only like 57 today, which isn't bad, but I'm just mentally preparing. Fun fact about me, maybe you didn't know this. I wear foot inserts for my sneakers, orthotics, if you will. Um, specifically only my sneakers, like I don't really put them in my boots or anything, mainly because it's kind of hard to do that. But I've got arch problems. They aren't high enough, I guess is what they say. I probably need to get like another pair, but this basically raises my arch a ton. But so every time I like switch sneakers, <laughs> I gotta switch arches, switch arch, switch orthotics into them. But they help so much because what was happening is I was like having knee issues and the knee issues were connecting to my flat arches. The more you know, the more you know. So. Highly suggest going to a foot doctor or a foot specialist if you're having any problems because that changed the game for me. And I also have these special, like, I just got those Archies. Archies are like flip flop sandals that have like extra arch support and they're cute, but they just make me feel better if I want to wear a like flat shoe. Anyways, I don't know why I'm telling you guys all of this. But let's actually go now to Spirit Halloween and find some costumes. Brooke asked me too if I could get her some cat ears or something. She's just gonna wear an all black outfit. So she's just looking for like a little accessory. And I said, I will find it. This is the most lovely morning walk ever. I'm walking around Chelsea 
and it's so lovely. I've never walked down some of these streets before and I'm really enjoying it. No music, just nature. Okay, we've got all kinds of options here. This place is also huge. They're also playing Ghostbusters, which is just so funny to me. Like, they're really, really in theme right now. I'm kind of feeling drawn to the wings, but I don't know if I can sit in the podcast chair with wings. I just sent Brooke actually so many photos because there are so many different types of ears and things. So, waiting on her to text back. Okay, I found this witch hat, which could be cute for me. I knew Brooke was going to pick these. They're honestly so cute too. I just had to come take a look at the costumes they have this year because every year my mom used to take us and we'd get costumes and I just wanna see what the trending things are. So I think I need this just for my life, but no spend October for things that I don't need. So this isn't gonna count, but oh my God, I'm obsessed with this bag. Nothing's really like, oh my gosh, that's so 2024. They're cute. They all make sense. I love this. This is so cute. I think what I'm gonna do is the witch hat and I have gloves and like a black dress. That'll be cute. No, this is perfect. Should I do bangle on both wrists or should I just do one? We've got a witch in the house. I don't think I've ever been a witch for Halloween, like ever. Like I've never worn I feel spooky right now. I am literally not about to wear this down in my lobby right now. So I'm gonna take all this off and just put a blazer over top and add the hat and gloves when I get there. But I think this is so fun. I think Brooke and I need to start dressing up for every Halloween episode. I don't think we've ever done this before. So this will be really fun. Hat worked out, these gloves. I added, I think I like both bangles. And I'm just wearing this little like turtle neck dress and I have ballet flats on. Um, this is so fun, but I'm going to take all this off now and get my commuter outfit on. Like how people talk about commuter shoes, there is just no way. Like if, if today, like if this week was Halloween, but like it's simply next week. So I touched up the curls a little, not bad. Also my lip combo, let me show you guys. Okay, this is the lip combo I'm wearing and it's, it's so good. I think I'm also going to switch. No, no, I look actually crazy. I think I do need to put on boots with this outfit because I forget that our shoes show in the video and this blazer is like too boxy. There's things happening. Anyways, this lip combo, so different for me, but I'm actually kind of loving it. Like I wore it to be witchy, but I think it's just good in general. So say lip liner in the color tease, and then the say lip gloss in the color push. A little tease, a little push. This lip color is so good, but I need to switch into black boots. Like, let me just give you guys a visual of what I look like right now, and it's just not okay even like for, no. Like, no, this is, you can't even see. It's just a C, like, this is not good. Also, don't mind my toilet paper in the background. I'm headed up to the podcast studio, and this just looks cuter, even though I'm about to change into my witch outfit. This little crop jacket on, and my boots. We're gonna get the hat on, the gloves on. Brooke's gonna walk in and be like, <laughs> Okay, we are at the studio. I just got dressed, Brooke's gonna walk in. <laughs> What's going on? But we're ready to go. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> I know! I have your ears right there for you, kitty cat. <laughs> Just heated up my lunch for today. This is from Eat Clean Bro. This is the chicken and roasted vegetables. I haven't tried this one before, um, but I'm excited to give it a go. I literally love Eat Clean Bro so much that actually reminds me I need to order a few meals. It's just really good because it's like grass-fed beef, good chicken, like good vegetables, like they cook with olive oil, good stuff. And it's just been good to kind of keep me in a routine of eating, you know, lots of protein, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have this today for lunch. It smells so good. Changed into a workout set. We're going to the gym. I'm like loving my gym in my apartment. I just had a little pre-gym snack. Um, I have these little hummus cups from Whole Foods, which were perfect. So I'm like, okay, once I'm done with this, I'm done with my snack. Like, it's so filling, so perfect. I just had some ca uh, carrot sticks. I've been working for the last couple of hours. I just had some content to submit, edit, go through my emails. Sheets are back on my bed, nice and fresh. I'm going to sleep good tonight. I also need to carve this pumpkin sometime this week because I want to make pumpkin seeds in my oven. They're so good. I also wanted to say thank you guys for your suggestions on like what to do with my dining table. And a lot of people said to get a runner. I think that's the name, like a table runner 
to go along the table and then I could put potentially those moss balls on this table or something else or a candle, something like that. I think that could be really nice. Some people said seasonal. I don't know. I feel like my apartment isn't giving like, like I don't really do much decor other than during Christmas time. Like I don't really want to get a fall thing here per se. And I have to see what I would or I could get like a lazy Susan. No, that would be weird right here, right? I don't know. Um, but I really did take all of your suggestions. I'm gonna look into it. All right, we are headed to the gym. I've been loving these headbands from 437 to wear to the gym because with extensions, I have so much hair in like extensions wise that even when I put my hair in ponytail, it kinda is uncomfortable because it weighs down. But I think it's also because I haven't got my extensions bumped up in a while and we're doing that tomorrow. So that might be a fix because my hair is growing so much. On a boost, we love that. The goal is 30 minutes on the treadmill, like incline walk, arms for sure. And then, I don't know, my legs still hurt from doing legs two days ago on Saturday. So perhaps we'll do core, but I don't really like core. I don't like doing it. When I'm at the gym, it's like I'm not in a class, so no one can force me to do anything. So I prefer to do like leg or arm stuff. So we'll see what I do. And I really hope it's not that crowded, but I kind of feel like right now it's prime time, six o'clock. Maybe I'll hit the sauna after. crazy on a Monday night. <laughs> Monday night football. The Bucks are playing the Ravens and Ryan, our friend Luke, and I think Morgan are gonna, actually I know Morgan, why am I saying that? Like I know she's coming because I'm on my way to pick her up on my walk. We're gonna go to Wogies. It's like a sports bar and grill in the West Village. And we're gonna watch the game. Um, you know, just beer with the boys. No, I actually, Planning to not drink, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll just get a club soda or something, but this is my little outfit. I do not want to put on makeup. Hopefully I don't regret that, but I've got this Buccaneers hat that is from Abercrombie. I've been waiting to wear it. Long sleeve from Skims, added a little red, a little game day moment from Diesel. My sweatpant jeans and some sneakers because I'm walking over there. But yeah, it's actually so funny. Like most of the teams I root for, well, most, the Bucks and the George Bulldogs, they both involve red. So that is really lucky for me. Anyways, let's go, let's have a night. kind of moves in silence. in a bowl of ice, but I just feel like I need the deep huffing this morning, so. Cold plunge from my face, here we go. I'm gonna take a video. Here we go. I'm scared. Ugh. I forgot you can't breathe when you do that. Woo! Wait, how do you breathe when you do that? How do you breathe? Did I deep huff? <laughs> I think I might just stick to ice rolling. However, like I do feel very awake now. We are embracing our winter arc. <laughs> okay, we are headed to a workout class at Equinox. I'm going to, what is it called? Uh, bar burn, bala bangle bar burn. Bala bangle burn? I don't know. There's all kinds of bala bangle bar something. One of those, I love it. It's one of my favorite workouts to do, um, and I'm proud of myself. Also, I post on my Instagram story, so I was like, how do people with extensions wear their hair when they work out? And a lot of people said, including my hairdresser, she texted me a video, because she has extensions, you slick back your hair, like not really, but like pull back your hair into a low pony, secure it with one hair tie, and then braid it down and secure it with another hair tie so it doesn't hold all the weight at the top. 
it just like keeps the extensions in place and then you're holding more of the weight with this hair tie and I definitely understood the vibes and I like it my hair's out of my face and I feel like we'll see what happens when I take it out but I feel like it'll make it nice and wavy too so we're gonna go to work out and then from there I'm getting a lash lift and tint so I go every two months I think it is and I love it so much I got a beauty by Michi Lee in the city and I'm really excited because my lashes are ready for it and I also get dermaplane as well um, like while my lashes are lifting, she does that, which I love. I'm wearing this aloe brown set. This tank top is from the brand. I forget, it's Sydney Adams collaboration with them. I forget like what the brand was, I'm so sorry. And then just sneakers, but I take them off during the class. So let's go. <laughs> Hi friends, uh, I showered, I ate lunch, and I've just been doing lots of work, editing, submitting things. Um, I think I need to do like a brain dump later because I'm feeling super anxious. Like I'll be like, oh my god, life is so good. Oh, but these three things. Like I have like these three things in my head that I just like have to clear. And something that I do when I'm feeling that way is... I will literally be like, okay, here's the problem. Here's what I can't stop thinking about. How can I fix this? What can I do to work towards that? Rather than just like constantly having things loom over my head. So I think I'm gonna do that tonight when I get back. I'm about to head over to um, the hair salon to get my uh, extensions bumped up, which is so needed. They're like so grown out, which will be exciting to have them bumped up a little. It'll actually make my hair shorter, which I'm excited about because it's like really long right now. And I don't know if we're, I think we might be coloring some of the extensions. I'm still not obsessed with, like some of them are a little bit too bright under, like on the underneath layers. So, um, but when I get back from that, I'm gonna make some dinner and we're gonna have a brain dump. We talked about going to trivia tonight, but now I'm kind of like, I need like a self-reflecting kind of night, maybe sit on my roof vibes, but I also really wanna carve that pumpkin so I can make my pumpkin seeds. So I don't know, we'll see where the evening takes us, but. I'm just over here crossing things off my to-do list. And yeah, we're doing like tour promo stuff. I'm so excited. We're going on tour for Gals in the Go. I don't know if I said that in this vlog, but galsinthegopodcast.com. We're going to Philly, November 7th. I think like when this vlog is coming out, it's like right before. So would love, love to see you guys there. It's going to be our first show. It's a brand new show. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so excited. We have a huge meeting tomorrow about it, but like we are it's going to be so funny. We have some special guests at all the shows. Really, really excited. Definitely, definitely get your tickets November 7th. And then December 6th is our New York show. It's our biggest show yet, always is. And we really want you guys to come up, come out and show out. And I'm so excited. You don't have to wear pink. We're just doing like outfits that make you feel good as heck. So I'm excited to show off some new fits. And yeah, that's December 6th. So you can make a weekend out of it take the train in from any of the surrounding areas. Like it's such the perfect night. Yeah, we really hope to see you guys there. And then we have a ton of other shows. We're going to January 16th, Irvine, California, January 17th, San Francisco, January 23rd, Miami, January 25th, Atlanta, Georgia, February 13th, Boston, February 20th, St. Louis, February 21st, Chicago, February 22nd, Cincinnati, March 6th, Houston, and March 7th, Dallas. So really, really, really hope to see you guys there. Comment down below which city you guys are coming to. It's a really fun time. You could bring your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your partner, your brother, your sister, your bestie, come alone. People, lots of people come alone. A lot of people have like made friends through Gals on the Go and they're like all getting dinner before and going together. It's gonna be so fun. It's just like, honestly, it's just like a funny night. Like that's our goal, girls night out vibes. So really hope to see you guys there. I'm just gonna finish submitting all of this and then I'm gonna head to the hair salon and my hair's gonna look a lot better. I am finally back home. I didn't leave the salon till 9, 15 p.m. I got there at four o'clock. Extensions are no joke. Like I really appreciate all the detail that Brett puts into doing my extensions. I go to Roulon Salon um, and Brett Thomas Creative on Instagram does my extensions and we bumped them up. And I'm used to the last time I had extensions, it's like you're getting your braces tightened. They just bump them up. 
but the way he does it is he literally takes everything out of my hair re goes through like brushes like make sure the scalp's good everything which i do appreciate and then um puts them all back in so basically every time i go it's like getting hair extensions for the first time because he like reinstalls them which i didn't particularly realize so next time i have that appointment which is in two months i will bring dinner <laughs> um but i love him and i love everyone at the salon so i felt very very comfortable and i got so much work done but for those of you that have questions I initially had 11 wefts in my hair, which is like a ton. And I left today with nine in my hair because I was like, whenever I try to put my hair in a ponytail, it's just so heavy. Wow, this like automatically feels so much lighter. Like I couldn't even, that looks so good. I'm so happy. And we also waited like 10 weeks to do this. And I think next time I'm gonna wait eight weeks. So it's like not super grown out just because it was getting really annoying to deal with. Love the hair. It feels nice and fresh, and now I'm really sleepy. So I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Good night, guys. Okay guys, I am all dressed and we're gonna go for a little hot girl walk this morning because I was supposed to film AM Uncovered this morning with a really exciting guest, but she's actually feeling a little under the weather. So we have a free morning now. Let's go. I am so happy I came for this walk this morning. I, first of all, it's so beautiful out. It's like 60 degrees and there's some fall foliage, especially like across the Hudson River, across the way and like right there. There's some colored leaves. We love that. And uh, it's just so nice to be in a routine and get moving. And uh, I feel so grateful right now. I really do. It's almost two o'clock and Brooke and Lucy will be getting here very shortly. And we're doing a huge meeting for Gals in the Go live shows. Just everything live shows, like the content, the travel, logistics, like literally everything because our first show in Philly is so soon. So yeah, we are just gonna do a meeting. Last time we did this, we did it at Brooke's apartment. So we're doing it here today and I'm excited to like utilize this big old table and we can all just sprawl out. I just went and got my afternoon iced latte. I'm gonna get some, some good coffee house jazz music going, some productivity music for the gals to get here. I went with this cozy autumn little landscape here with some jazz music and there's a little fireplace. from the workout it was so good and then i didn't even realize this we had a sound bath and meditation after which was honestly so nice to like get me just feeling zen in the evening um i came back because i had run some laundry all day and now i'm folding it all and you know it's my least favorite part actually my least favorite part is putting it away do not want to put it away i started folding my socks like this <laughs> it's the little things in life and it definitely helps keep them like all nice together like it's kind of inside out i even fold my underwear now it's like a whole thing these are all my workout clothes which i am so proud of myself because when i do laundry and a ton of it's workout clothes i'm like pat on the back danielle you're getting some movement in good for you so yeah just doing this right now listening to what am i listening to right now oh yeah bff's pod i've been um pretty into it honestly and hearing dave porno talk about taylor swift writing him a note that is pretty nuts so that is what's going on right in here and <laughs> someone commented on my video and was like all right clearly you still wish you could lime wash your walls so do it and i'm like should i just do it like i still i have this piece of artwork that i want to buy and i just keep not buying it because i'm like should i no but then i keep running into the issue i've already hung up my tv i've already hung up those mirrors the mirrors, whatever. The TV was a whole journey. So maybe I just buy the artwork. You guys are so sick of me, I'm sorry. Like my whole apartment is like done and I just can't seem to get this together. I'm in bed now. I did my full dental routine, which only happens a few times a week. Like I always brush my teeth, but like 
the flossing and the oil pulling. That only happens a few times a week. And something else I've added into my routine is putting cuticle oil on my cuticles, obviously. And then using some hand lotion, I opt for this L'Occitane. I just am such a L'Occitane girly. So my hands always feel dry after I like wash my face and brush my teeth, all the things. Mm, it smells so good. And it's just nice to like have it in my nightstand drawer and just romanticize my life. My camera spots die, so good night if it dies. And then I'm gonna put some of this foot cream on. And then I'm gonna read. It's a reading kind of night. Kindle early. See you guys in the morning. Keeping the streak strong, we're going to the gym in my building to do some treadmill and perhaps more. We'll see. Also, I want to do at least arms. But yeah, I'm wearing this full-on uh, Sculpt Society set today. Even though I'm not doing a Sculpt Society workout, I just wanted to support. It's so cute. And I'm doing over-the-ear headphones today instead of my AirPods. I just felt like being that girl in the gym with the headphones. I don't know, it felt cool. Um, but my hair is bothering me. Why does it look so, I don't wear it straight a lot since it's been long. So I don't know, it feels like just like a little tail or something. I don't like it. Anyways, let's go. Post-workout eggs. I don't know how loud I'm talking cause I'm listening to music right now, but breakfast is served, workout was good. I showered super quickly, changed into this set. It's from Shop We Were What? And I'm going to get a peel. It's a very gentle peel. I have to do a few rounds of it, but apparently it's gonna really help with my hyperpigmentation. So I'm excited. I might be like a little sheddy, like peely this weekend, she said, but like, it's not super bad. Like it's not like those crazy, crazy peels, um, which maybe one day I'll do, but for now this is like a gentle peel. Also, these are so good, like the best, the best, the best. Okay, I'm gonna go. So the facialist I go to, her name is Sam and she works at Casa Cipriani, which is a members only social club, but they do have a spa that anyone can go to. And that so happens to be where my facialist works. So I'm gonna go into the social club looking like this, except, oh my God, I just realized they definitely have a dress code, but hopefully not for the spa, cause I'm fully in a sweat set. Oh my gosh, I just realized this. Oh, well, I'm a paying customer. Me, as soon as I get home, I put my hair up. Guys, my face is so red, but I'm kind of obsessed. Like, she, she said my face isn't red because it's irritated. My face is red because it's all the circulation. So excited, my skin already feels like a baby's bottom. But basically I'm gonna do a few of these. It's the Green Peel Energy, and it's herbal peeling. So, or it's an herbal peel rather than like acid. There's no acid involved. It's like all these crazy herbs. But when I touch my skin, it feels like prickly, not, it doesn't feel prickly, it like, st um, oh, like she explained it, like uh, you feel like a cat's licking you. Like if I swipe my finger whew, across my face, it like, it's, it's a weird feeling. Uh, but she said I could put on makeup, whatever I want. Um, and in like two to three days, all at once, my skin's gonna peel. It's probably gonna be like when I'm washing my face or something, so I'm prepared for that. But the, the good thing is I don't have to have days of like not wearing makeup. Like she said, I could literally put on makeup tonight, so. Um, yeah, skin is red. She did some extractions as well. I was planning on filming some content and putting on my makeup now before my events tonight, but I kind of like, right after you get your facial, I forgot how you feel. Like, you don't want to put on makeup. Like, I'm gonna wait till the last second to put on makeup, um, just so I can let my skin truly breathe. Oh, she said I need to wash my makeup brushes. That's what I'm gonna do right now, because she was like, wash your pillowcases, wash your makeup brushes. Like, your skin is so pure right now, um, which she has a point. Okay, I just cleaned all my brushes. Now I'm going through my like everyday makeup bag and taking everything out, which I do like every two months or so, which I should just do even more often and putting only back in the things that I actually use on a day-to-day -day basis on my face because what is the point otherwise? So I'm just taking everything out. I always keep these Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads 
in the back there though. So definitely using this YSL bronzer still. Definitely using this Dior palette. I love it so much. This Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette has been coming everywhere with me. However, I really do want to try the Patrick Ta one that has the gel liners in it because that would just be so nice. Foundation, Estee Law Double Wear Foundation. Estee Law, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Of course, gotta love the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish. They also have this, which is like a stick. Oh my God, I love it so much. I need this all to like stand straight together. How can I do this? What else? Powder, where's my big powder? Oh, here it is. Been using this to set my foundation as well. I'm trying to like, how can I keep all this? I like when it all stands up, ideally. Like that, perhaps. All my brushes, I try to like put in one area, at least face brushes. These I'm not gonna put back in. All my eye brushes. I didn't wash my eye brushes, I'm sorry. I just didn't think it was necessary. Put the eye brushes over there. You know, it's not perfect. We're trying. The Say blush and the color Chili. The cap fell off, but like I'm still using it. Also the Say bronzer to contour, concealer. I'm only gonna put back in these two concealers, Tower 28 and Kosas. This is fun, you guys are building out my makeup kit with me. We will go this Milk Makeup Tinted eye, uh, Eyebrow Gel and then also this Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel. This one's not tinted or anything though. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum for before my makeup. I'm obsessed with this mascara, Liquid Lash Extensions from Thrive Cosmetics. Obviously a little puff for the powder. This is all gonna get messed up later, but oh well. Eyebrow powder from, um, or eyebrow pencil from Sanya's Brow Bar that I go to here in the city. And then, oh, my blush. I've been using this NARS. This is a little mini guy. This is in the color Orgasm Edge. <laughs> Craziness. All nighter spray, is there anything even in there really? Not really. Okay, I have like all these random liners and a lot of them are like done now, but this one is not. House Labs felt tip liner. I love that. Oh, I have two of these. I'm just gonna keep them in there for when I travel. I have some travel coming up. Oh, this is my eyelash primer um, from Lancome. And then a beauty blender. And then I use this fan in between layers if I need to like dry or anything. And I use it a lot. Most times I do my makeup, it comes in handy. All this stuff. I'm going to put away for now. Oh, I should keep this lip liner. I didn't even know I had a sharpener in here. Oh my God. Oh, and I've been loving this Maybelline skin tint for like my non spray tanned face, which is right now. So that, that definitely needs to go in there. And then my setting spray. And that's that. Stunning. Should I like wash the top of this? Yes, I should. Yay, looks so much better. It's just those little things in life. It's later and I put on makeup and it really wasn't that uncomfortable putting on makeup. Like it definitely like, Feels so weird when I touch my skin, but whatever. Makeup is done. I have it on makeup on probably this whole vlog. Or maybe on, I don't even know. I'm in kind of like a weird mood. Like I'm just in the mood to like be alone. But then as soon as I step outside and I'm at this event, like I will be in a mood. So I curled my hair and did a little half up, half down. Earrings are electric picks. I'm headed to Hopefully a couple events. I have four events tonight and I just really thought, I three of them start at the same time. So I don't know where in my head I was like, yeah, I'll be able to make them all. I couldn't. Um, so I'm gonna see what I can make it to. I know for sure I wanna go to Rebecca Minkoff because they, she sent me some pieces from her collection to wear. One of which is this jacket, which is so cute. And I actually decided to kind of go like this vibe kind of crazy i know but i love this it's so cute and then um also they sent me this bag which i love because you can hold it like this which i will be doing or there's a shoulder strap of course or like not a shoulder strap really but like a crook of the arm strap uh and there was also a crossbody strap and it has so much storage there's literally so many sides and then this middle part is literally like a cosmetic bag. So I put all of my like lip products and stuff in there. Let me show you guys the full outfit though. So I just have this belt on from Orium Collective, low rise baggy jeans from Abercrombie, and then these black point toe heels, and then lots of rings because that's been my current favorite. 
an accessory. So I'm gonna go to Rebecca's event first. It's kind of like a holiday soiree, which I love that we're getting into that. And then Spotify invited me to an exclusive listening party for Kelsey Ballerini's new album. I really wanna go, Margo's going, but it starts at the same time. So I'm gonna go to Rebecca first and then attempt to go to the Spotify one, but we're just gonna see because I was so honored that Spotify invited me to something and I love Kelsey Ballerini, I love country music, so I was really excited. So we're gonna see what I can do. But for now, let's go. Ryan and I are at dinner. He picked me up from the event. I ended up going to one event. It was really just so... I really thought I could be in four places at once, but the Rebecca Makeoff event was so fun, I just stayed there. Good morning, I'm in such a rush, but I'm wearing the new Set Park collab. It literally is so cool, I love this. I have to figure out how to wash this. Probably like cold. Um, and there's a little like lettuce trim on the bottom too, and then I just have this jacket over top. Um, last night was so fun. Anyways, we're gonna go to Pilates with Cass, let's go. <laughs> to walk past Delaney's apartment. I'm gonna say hi. Hello, you. How are you doing? I just got back. Nails are done. And I just made day three of this tomato cucumber salad. I have no more chicken now and no more produce. I used it all up, which is awesome, because I feel like whenever I get produce, I end up wasting some of it, which never makes me happy. So we used it all, and I'm about to eat this and enjoy. Happy Friday. Lunch was amazing. Um, that's the end of this vlog. I feel like it was long, nice, very motivating winter arc era. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Lots of fun vlogs coming up. We've got Halloween and some other fun things. So um, yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.